everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday. And you will not believe it, but it is snowing like crazy outside. I took a video, maybe I'll put it at the end of this video. <laughs> I took one just with my iPhone. The flakes are the biggest, fluffiest flakes I've ever seen. And it's still, it's just now starting to stick and it's been snowing for a while, at least an hour or more but it was, it's really not that cold outside. So the ground is still wet, but I can't believe, I, was it two weeks ago, Brooke and I were at the beach laying out? <laughs> it's amazing. That's how it is here where I live. It's like we're right in the middle of the fronts that come through, you know? And so we get, and especially us being on the coast, like in Raleigh, it's probably really cold and sticking, but over here, it isn't as much. So a couple things I wanted to, show you today. Um, one, I wanted to show you my new robe and I told John, I said, I think I'm just going to wear it in my video instead of getting dressed and, you know, having to show it. But this is something I have never had and you're probably going to laugh that I've never had one of these. But this is a spa robe and it's actually one that you can get out of the shower and put on to dry yourself with. And I have never had a robe like that. I've always just had either a little thin, like my little, I love that little orange or coral color Notori robe. I have just about worn that thing out and it has been wonderful. I love it because it's thin, easy to wash and dry. The, I love the length of the sleeves and um, I love that the belt is attached so I can just throw it in the washing machine and dryer and then just pull it out, throw it on my little hook and it's done. So I've got that and they've even got a white one, but I really like my coral one. So I'm fine with that. But when I was in Dillard's, it was the day I went to the Dior counter. I always go back and look at the bras and stuff like that. They had this and it's the Spa Essentials by Sleep Sense, my lisp. And it's the Turkish cotton robe with modal fiber, fibers. And that got my attention because I had never really thought anything about Turkish cotton until I heard Tammy say on one of her videos that she liked to use the Turkish cotton washcloths. And so one day I was in either TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I saw like, you know how they'll have the bundles of washcloths? And um, so I texted her and I said, is this what you're talking about? And she said, yes. And so I got some for her to send her and then I got some for me. Now I don't want to use any of my other washcloths. To me they just don't, they're scratchier feeling. I feel like they don't absorb as well and I feel like the Turkish cotton, it's got like a tighter loop <laughs> and um, I feel like it exfoliates really nicely in a just a like a, I don't know, a, gen a gentle way, much more gentle than a like muslin cloth or something like that. And so that's what I love now are my Turkish wash washcloths and they're very, very absorbent. So that is what got my attention about this robe and they've got it in a white one that has like some piping. They've got it in a plain white, but I really liked, I hope you can see, this one actually has, um, here let me stand up here. This one actually has a pattern to it. And um, I've just got my, um, like a tank top and my silky sleepy pants on. But, um, and it ties here so it'll stay closed. And then I just do the typical, um, you know, tightening like that. The um, cuff is like a permanent cuff, but you could easily cuff it up again, like it, when you're putting on your makeup or something. And um, I just, I'm excited about it. I didn't get it that day because it was, let's see, here's the, it was $98. So what I did is I came home and Googled Turkish spa robe and you can get them a lot less expensive like on Amazon and everything, but I just really loved the way this one felt. I could tell when I felt it, it was something that I would use. And in the summer, you know, when you get out of the shower and you just want to put your robe on, especially when I'm like down at the beach or something, I just knew it would be good. And um, it's not too thick. It's just perfect. It's perfect. So I just wanted to show it to you. I was excited about it. Sometimes it's the little things. 
then when I was going through there to pay, I saw these on the Spanx um, rack. And I can already say I don't think I'm going to like these as much as the Yummy Tummy, but I thought I would just give these a try for us. If I don't like them, that's okay. That's part of me being here. They were $24. I got the medium because I just know I could look at these and tell the small was going to be just too much. And I'm a size 6. But um, these don't come up as high, so they're going to be more for like low, lower tummy, but I think they'll come up high enough for me, up to like my belly button. And I got the black since I already have the nude in the other. And they're still wide in the back. And um, so I'm going to give these a try for us. I can already tell the fabric picks up every little bit of dust and everything. Um, but it's from the Spanx Smooth line. Lightweight microfiber. Um, bonded waistband. Luxurious feel. Undetectable thong. So, um, then I thought I would tell you what I think about these products that I showed you last week. The Dennis Gross products. And I probably wouldn't do this if I wasn't so impressed with these products. And what really made me think about it this morning is when I put this on. And this is the Dennis, Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. I love this. I think I like this better than any eye cream. And the reason is it comes out like as a, here let me zoom you in. I'm using my camera up here and I hope that it's okay. So um, it comes out like as a gel, not really as a, it says serum, but it's not, um, yeah, it's not, you know, just watery and um, it goes right in and I can put my makeup on over it and it's moisturizing, but not, I'm not scared I'm going to get like milia or any type of issues from it. And I just feel like not only do I like applying it and it has like the retinol, I can put it right on my eyelids to tackle like crepiness, but I really feel like it has helped, I don't know, like um, maybe tighten and make my, around my eyes be just a little bit less old lady, a little bit less crepey looking. And, you know, I really, I really do like it. I think it's really working. I don't know, you know, if I've been using it long enough to really, really be able to tell the results. But so far, this is all I want to use. My next favorite eye product would be the Avocado by Kiehl's. And that is because it isn't too moisturizing too. Okay, the next thing I wanted to report on is the Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel for Advanced Skin Care skin care users looking for maximum anti-aging benefits um, and you know how these are you take them out and you use one you go all over your face until it's you know you've gotten the goodie out of it and then you wait two minutes which is so easy normally what I do is do that and then I go lift my weights for my arms do a couple reps or something you know I go in my bedroom and do something and then I come back and then you open the other pack, and that is the neutralizer. And I, better than the Paula's Choice, better than all of the masks, better than any of the toners, I think I can tell that this is tackling the um, pores. Right, right here on the side of my nose. Like I said, I really don't have blackheads, but it was like there was something still in my pores the sebum. I hate that word. It's kind of gross. But um, I feel like this is tackling it the best. And what I do is I have this um, makeup mirror up here that's lit and I look on the, you know, the magnifying side in the morning when I get up and I always check out my skin to see, you know, what I need to do that night. You know, what issues I'm having. And um, I really, really did like it. Um, or do like it. I think that it's helping and I, you know, said to myself, I think this is helping better than anything I've tried. Now, I had somebody ask me, what about the other peel pads? Because I've got the several other ones. I just feel like these may be working a little bit better. And I use these every night. I'm still using the Paula's Choice in the morning. So, um, but when I was using Paula's Choice night and morning I didn't notice as big of a difference and I really didn't notice a difference with that oil at all and I did not enjoy putting it on that 
um, nine something nine. I'm not saying that it doesn't work for other people, but I really like these. And I'll keep on using them, and then I'll be able to tell you definitively in a little while. Okay, this is something I wanted to kind of report back on because it's pretty expensive, but um, it's the Marine Mask. And this is one of those things where when Nadine Baggett did that interview with him, and he, she asked him what could he recommend to get red carpet ready, it was those and then this. And he probably would recommend that IF serum too. But this is a Hyaluronic Marine Hydrating Modeling Mask. And it comes with the little cups to use. And then it comes with um, the, okay, comes with the activating powder. And then the, um, they had gotten out of order in here. And then the, the you do put the mask in there. Then you put the activating powder in. Good. I was hoping we didn't lose that. And then it comes with the spatula, you know, stir type thing. Okay, remember I said I was hoping that you could either split it into two or Brooke and I could both use it. Brooke could not stand it. She could not wait to use this mask. And so I put her off a couple of nights because it just, the timing wasn't right and I really wanted to enjoy it. And so I messaged Tammy and I said, should I do this mask before I get in the shower or after? And she said, after. So I told Brooke, I said, okay, when I get out of the shower, we're gonna try this mask. And so we did it and we both had plenty. So if you have a daughter, you know, like me that might wanna do this with you, that's wonderful, I think, because, you know, we both really enjoyed it. It felt really good, it was really neat. Um, and, um, so before I get to what we noticed at the end, I wanted to say, I think, I don't know if I'll ever get to try this because I'm sure every time I do it, and believe me, Brooke is like Chanel. Not a thing gets by her. She there was There's no way I could do this without her knowing, I guess unless I did it while she was at school. But um, if I did it in the morning, on the weekend, or at night, she would notice. But um, I think if you were to just half this, each one, the best you could, you could definitely get eight uses out of this because it was plenty, plenty, plenty. And um, I did get it in my eyebrows a little bit. I wasn't as careful as Brooke was. She has learned the hard way that, you know, you don't want to get that stuff in your eyebrows because when you peel it off, it could pull. But mine didn't hurt my eyebrows. I was scared I was going to wax them virtually off, you know, but it came right out of my eyebrows. It didn't hurt or anything. It peeled off, and this is what we both noticed. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but we both couldn't believe it. When we took the mask off, both of our skin, of course it felt hydrated, and it felt good until the next morning. It felt bouncy and everything, and it didn't feel slimy. It didn't feel tacky. It felt really nice and fresh. But both of us, our pigment in our skin was like perfection. Both of us noticed that our redness was gone and our skin was like all one color. And Brooke has like really good skin, but she does have a little bit of redness like most people do around her nose. And both of us, I noticed it first and I thought it was probably just my imagination. And then when she took hers off, she said, look at my face. I said, I know. I said, look at how one color it is. She said, I know, I don't even need makeup. So I don't know what would be in this to help with that or if it's just, it might be that it was just calming and so it kind of calmed our redness. The Hyaluronic Cushion Gel. Ingredients, ingredients, water, glycerin, algin, lithium, magnesium, sodium, silicate, sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronate. I can say hyaluronic acid, hyaluronate. Okay, there we go. Um, Orza sativa, rice powder, xanthan gum, citric acid, um, disodium, EDTA, some kind of powder, um, dihydroacetic dihydro powder, benzoyl alcohol, fragrance, and blue one lake, which is probably the, um, the color. And then step two, activating powder, um, glucose, calcium sulfate, um, tetrasodium, uh, pyrophosphate, magnesium oxide. Magnesium, that's kind of a calming thing too, isn't it? Anyway, so I just wanted to give you my, you know, first impressions because these are kind of expensive products and I was kind of wowed by all of them. 
so far. And I thought about doing like a little skincare favorites today, but I think I better break it up and stuff like that because it gets overwhelming. And I gotta say, I have enjoyed this little skincare journey. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed my time with Brooke doing it. I think it's been a good thing for her. It's been a good like bonding experience for both of us. And I feel like it's good, been good for us too. Um, here, let me zoom out a little bit. You don't need to see me too close. But I feel like it's been a good experience for us too to um, tell each other, you know, what we like. And um, it's just been fun. I really have enjoyed it. And I think I can really tell in my skin. Today, I barely put on any foundation. I used that new Kevin Aquan primer. And then I used um, just the sensual skin barely, like in the center of my face. And then on the perimeter of my face, that's where I did more of my powders. And I love it. It's just, it's good. I mean, but you have to, I will say when you're use, gonna use the Kevin Aquan um, Sensual Skin Pigments, it's when you're feeling creative. It's when you're feeling like I'm um, spending a little bit more time because it, is, it does, you have to work it in your skin. But I feel like you get a great natural result. I could talk all day, I really could. Um, this is the nail polish that Emmy, Emily sent me, and I just put it on real quick this morning, Dark Like Me by Smith & Colt, and I really like it, even on my long nails now. I love it. So, I think that's it. Um, the only accessories I have on so far are my wedding ring, and um, I put on Dean Davidson's diamond earrings he sent me, and I love these. I don't wear them often enough because I guess I kind of worry that I'm going to lose them. Like, I thought about it yesterday, but I went and had my hair haircut and I had it colored so she just um the only highlights I got are kind of in the back where I had a bunch of darkness like right back here um and then just color so no more highlights up here because I don't want it to get highlighty looking I like it to stay I like it when she does my highlights every two or three times that way they stick stay kind of chunky and balayage looking um, I don't want that definite root line and so anything else but I didn't want to wear those earrings then because I didn't want them I've had them come out but these have a really good back on them like they snap and kind of lock anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful relaxing Sunday it is still snowing like crazy here so I don't even know what we'll do if we'll I might have to break down and cook something today um, and people ask me all the time if I ever cook I do but my family, we just like going out to eat. So, and we all like to get something different. So that's just our thing. But I do like to cook. I used to cook a lot when they were little and it was more difficult to go out. I cooked a lot more, but um, we just enjoy it. And um, so anyway, hope you have a good Sunday and I will see you real soon, maybe even tomorrow. Bye-bye.